Welcome everyone to your Harvest Moon reading for September. This is going to happen September 29th. This is the time to reap your rewards. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what is going on. This Harvest Moon is a super moon. This is the moon in full moon in Aries. Okay, guys, this moon is actually very important for this time of the year. Um, so let's just dig deep into this. Um, number one I want to bring up is that March 21st, 2023, we had the full moon in Aries. Okay, so this is making a whole cycle, right? A full cycle from that time. So whatever your intentions were, whatever you were manifesting, my friends, during that full moon in March 21st, this is where it's time to reap those rewards. Okay, so yes, very important. So whatever intentions you set at that time, you will start to see those start coming through. Um, this is the time also that you might start um, seeing signs and synchronicities from the universe, new open doors, new opportunities coming towards you um, for the universe to show you that, hey, everything's going well, your manifestations are coming in, right? Okay. And remember that that full moon in Aries in March was also followed by two eclipses as well, the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse, which will also take place again. Okay, so in October, we do have two um, eclipses as well. Yes, October is also, Saturday, October 28th is also the, the lunar eclipse as well. So yes, two major eclipses going on. Um, and then we have the one that I believe was the solar eclipse is, I think that's the 13th. 13th or the 14th of October, if I remember right, but I will be doing the uh, solar eclipse for sure, um, that ring of fire. Okay, so, but also remember what your intentions were for those eclipses as well, right, as we manifest and put in intentions for that. Were they the same, right? A lot of people are, were using the same intentions from the Aries full moon in March for the eclipses, right? that happened in April. So really amplifying on that manifestation and that intention. So let's see what's going on over here. We're getting down to the three most important things that we need to understand about this harvest moon is conclusions are within reach. Absolutely. And that's because of that, see, because of that full moon eclipse. I mean, you know, hey, we, you know, like I said, a lot of you may have also been doing that um, same intention during those eclipses. So whatever your intentions were at that time, March and April, this is where you're going to reap those rewards. Uh, let's see what else is coming out over here. Next best moon card, please. For this area is luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Yes. Thank you. And prosperity lies ahead. Wow. There you go. And many of you are going to see this start working in your favor. If it doesn't come right away, then you might have to wait for those lunar eclipses. Okay. There's that lunar and that, that uh, solar ring of fire to come true, you know, come through. It just could just be that way. Okay. But whatever it is, it's on the horizon and it is definitely time to reap what you have sown um, one way or another. Okay. So. Let's get over here and see what we have going over here to conclusions are at reach. I am loving this. So when you start seeing some opportunities start knocking at your door, now is the time to understand that those seeds that you have sown are there knocking at your door, right? To be received for that dream. So if I'm on the situation, please. Yes, answering the call. The time is now. Yes, it is. The time is now. Knock, knock. Here we come. You know, and that's almost like this, the same as the judgment card. Your judgment day is here. Your rewards have come. Answer the call. Right, it's time to go with the flow. It's time to be creative. It's time also for courage. And yes, this is a crazy... Uh, this moon is also crazy too because it is Aries, so it's going to want to fill you full of courage. So where you feel like maybe you were shying away from something, right, or feeling defeated by something, 
or feeling um, lack like it's not going to happen or lack of motivation towards that because you feel like, you know what, I've, it's defeated me, it's not going to happen, um, I have doubts and fears, things start falling away, the idea starts getting pushed back of I can't have this. Um, this is where that courage is going to come in and you're going to take action with passion. You're going to feel more creative more confidence it's going to give out this confidence you know this confident boost of energy right so this is where you're going to feel like that's it allow yourself to have the sense of knowing that things are coming your way you know have this sense of feeling you know what you're not fogged in anymore let the fogged in feeling release let go of it it doesn't need to be there anymore let yourself dance with the universe. Trust within the universe. This is the ultimate time, my friends, to have trust and faith within the universe. Right? Knowing where you're coming and where you're going. Okay? This is your time now. When is it? Now. You could, you know, it's like if there was any time in your life where you could feel like you had, you know, a oneness, this would be the time. All right? This would be the time. Keep that faith, trust, not just for yourself, but also for the universe itself. So that way it knows you trust it. Okay, so let's see what we have over here with the manifestation cards coming in. We're using the same deck that we use for the manifestation um, because I like them. I think they work very well. So give us some ideas over here, please. About this situation when it comes to the conclusions are within reach. Restoring balance. This card calls you to notice what kinds of situations, people, and circumstances throw you off balance, and more importantly, what enables you to regain balance and recenter yourself. Noticing heightens your awareness and creates an opportunity for you to become proactive in maintaining your ongoing balance and and harmony. And also you want to be careful of this too, because during this time, this is an Aries moon, Mars, right? He wants to bring out those outbursts, right? Watch your ego, right? If you have any kind of repressed emotions, just be careful that, you know, you don't jump to, to conclusions, jump to anybody's reactions. You know, if you are harboring these kind of emotions, go ahead and try to release them. You can release them by dancing, listening to music, exercising, you know, this way, you know, you can get those done because at this time your emotions will be amplified, right? They're definitely going to be amplified. So let's go over here to luck is on your side. So definitely want to watch for those. Luck is on your side. Everything is fine, right? So luck is on your side is rainbow blessings coming in. Blessings are showering your life. Here it comes. That doorway is open. You answer that call. Here comes those doors. You're already ready, so make sure that you're ready to receive with your hands open. You know what you want. You have the infinite abundance is yours. Abundance is pouring into your life. That intention, that manifestation is coming in. It's setting the tone. So stay focused on what it is you truly want. You know, now is not the time to walk away from your manifestation. Walk away from your intention and say, you know what? I've waited all this time. It's not coming. Well... Why put in all that hard work to walk away? Just stay focused on the course, right? Because you're going to start noticing that you're going to have these signs and synchronicities, right? You're going to have these coincidences in front of you. And I'm just going to tell you right now, if the universe didn't want to give you what you wanted, he wouldn't send you these downloads. He wouldn't send you these coincidences. He wouldn't send you these signs and synchronicities, okay? Okay. So use all of these to have you understand what is going on. Think about what is going on. Think about what it is you're seeing, how they're all connecting. Connect the dots. Because as soon as you realize that you're connecting the dots, you're realizing that your abundance, your manifestation is coming in. Right? So keep up the confidence, trust, and faith. Right? Because all is there. The universe wants to work with you. It wants to co-create with you. It's been co-creating with you since you made the intention. If it didn't want you to have it, it wouldn't send you these signs. It would be dead. It would be lost. There would be nothing. Right? Think about it. How many times have you set out an intention, my friends, or a manifestation, but you've never seen a sign in synchronicity? You've never seen anything 
that says anything towards that. I know I have. I've put out signs and synchro, you know, oh, excuse me, I've put out intentions waiting for some kind of sign to say that the universe is responding, waiting to say that that was good for me. Nothing happened. You know why? Because it wasn't good for me. And it doesn't mean it wasn't good for me in the future, but it definitely wasn't good for me at that time. Okay, so <clears throat> when it wants you to have something, it lets you know. So say yes. What you're wanting wants you. Say yes. Your answer is yes. Okay. Leadership. We all lead by example our words and actions presenting a role model to everyone that, that we come into contact with. This card asks you to take an ownership of your personal leadership qualities and align your thoughts, words, and actions with everything that you wish to see in the world. You see those signs and synchronicities. Remember, that is the universe responding. People always say, I don't see them responding. But I keep saying, I keep seeing 6-6. Six, six. I keep seeing 4-4 four, four on the clock. I see, keep seeing 2-2 two, two on the clock. I keep seeing 14, 4-14, four, 6-14, fourteen, 5-16. Fourteen, that means your manifestation is coming in. Right? It is sending you signs and synchronicities. Beware of the situation. Synchronicities are seemingly random coincidences showing up in your life. This card asks you to listen to the signs and take them seriously. You are tuning into the universal energy of a greater collective conscious. And these synchronicities are arriving in your world to guide you. Listen. And right now is a time of guidance. The universe wants to guide you. Okay. This is the time it's like, yes, let me guide you. Let me help you. Let me get you to where you need to be. Prosperity lies ahead. Beautiful reading. Okay, let's go, guys. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Discovering your truth. You stand in the light of your own truth. You know the truth of the situation. If you really sat back and you asked yourself, is your manifestation coming in after knowing that you've seen the signs and synchronicities and you feel all these things? If you already know the answer is yes, then why are you denying them? Like I said, now is not the time to be fogged in and start denying things. Right now it's time to be laughing, smiling, raising the vibrations, clearing any energy that no longer needs to be there. Start going into the, you know, start going towards the beach getting into water, start cleansing the energy with a shower, with a bath, rejuvenation. Because there are gates of triumph are right here. Success expands in your life. Whether you're 100% acknowledging it or not, it's already happening. You asked for it, so it's time to go into the flow. Be in the flow. Now it's the time to really allow everything to be smooth sailing. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, let's get a couple cards over here. And, yes, anything that you, you know, do not need is now the time to let it go. Right? It is time to let that go. It's not needed. If you know that you need to clean space to actually let it 100% come in, then let's get clear in that space because it wants to come in. Yeah, there it is. Walk away. How funny. And it is. Let's walk away. Walk away from situations. When we face a challenging or unhealthy situation, it can be hard to let go and move on. Sometimes we stay in the hope that someone else will, will change, or perhaps we are so fearful of the unknown that we remain in the safety of the known and yet toxic, and yet toxic situation. This card validates your entitlement to leave. You have the right to leave. Leave it behind, my friends, right? For some of you have new love coming in and you may have to walk away from someone that is toxic, someone that you know you shouldn't be holding on to anymore. Maybe it's a marriage that you know is toxic and you know you should be walking away so that you can allow this new love to flourish, to come through, this new soulmate to enter your life. Spirit has already given you the green light to go. The energy of new love around you. Sometimes if we have been hurt with, within relationship, we retreat, afraid of being hurt again. This card brings a clear message and is in, 
an indication of your readiness to emerge and embrace love and begin a new loving relationship, it is safe for you to reach out. Take what's yours, what you're entitled to. We are entitled as human beings to have things. Okay. Love it. So, yes, trust. And we just talked about this a lot. Trust within the universe. Sometimes we can strive relentlessly to make something happen and then experience huge disappointments when our efforts do not work out. While this action on our part is required, if we are too determined to stay on one course only, we inadvertently, excuse me, block ourselves from the guidance and direction that the universe is trying to bring us to. This is a time to trust and let things happen. And that's what I was saying. If you didn't get the signs and synchronicities, you've already got the green light. That's the universe talking to you. Those are the coincidences. Well, shit, that's a coincidence. Because when I was watching this, I heard that song pop up of the person I'm trying to manifest. Jeez, you think that's a coincidence? There's no such real things as coincidence. It's the universe trying to tell you that there is a miracle happening for you. And that I'm going to allow this to happen. I want it to happen. 33. There, another synchronized number. 33. 66. You guys might be seeing these numbers. 55. 50. 30. 30. 330. 330. 230. 430. They don't always have to be 33, 44. Sometimes it could be 16, 14, 30, 20. It's just the same number over and over and over again. And if you don't know what they mean, Google them. We tend to perceive miracles only when our personal desires are met. And yet when we look back, almost all of us will be able to recall a crisis or a challenge that ultimately provided and proved to be a miraculous turning point within our lives and an extraordinary gift. This card asks you to see the miracles that surround you right now in every situation. And the reason you do so is the more that you realize what miracles you've already had happen in your life, you will be open to receive what the universe has coming for you and your manifestation. See, once we understand that these things have happened, then we're more open to do it again. And understanding, right? And that's it. Open and allow yourself to receive. One of the greatest blocks in our ability to manifest our greatest desires is the inability to allow ourselves to receive. This card asks you to take some time to identify inner, inner beliefs, perceptions, and attitudes that stop you from receiving. And one by one, remove these resistance. There's no reason in the world that you should not be taking the opportunities to receive. We all receive. Universe always with us. Always wanting to help us. You put the intentions out. They want to procreate with you. Especially things that are healthy for you. Like I said, if you don't see the signs and synchronicities, then more than likely they're not going to give that to you. You start seeing those things, get ready. Right? Get ready. Okay? Because now is the time. Right? This, this, um, Harvest Moon is also a very grounding mood. It's also about business and entrepreneurial things and ideas. It wants you to ground yourself for your wildest ideas and dreams. Okay, So really start pushing yourself towards whatever it is. If you're trying to build a business or do any things like that, it's time to start you know, co-creating alongside the universe to allow him to start guiding you and helping you and pushing you towards whatever business and ventures you might have. Okay, because this is, this is, uh, that's what Aries likes. It likes to build. Right? Okay, so there's also that as well. Okay. And overall card for the reading. I don't even know if we, do we even need one? Do we have one? <laughs> I didn't even think of what, do we, do we have one? Take action now. There you go. Okay, that's it. Hey, I'll take that, right? Hold hold close to your visions and take action now. That is a great one. Thank you. This is the clear and 
It's a clear message to take action on your part that is needed now. Manifestation is not only a simple, is not simply a process of visioning in and dreaming about your desires. When an opportunity is offered to you, you must also take action. Pay attention to the signs and move forward fearlessly. And when you're fearless, you're saying, because I give everything to the universe and it doesn't matter. Even if it seems like, you know what, it, maybe it, it seems like it's, a, it's too wild, right? It's too wild. But Aries says it wants you to be wild. Use your wild ideas. Use your wild stuff, right? If you're not waiting, if you know that you're not, you know, 100% waiting on anything, or maybe you already got your manifestation in from that time period, it's time to start again. But I will put up the next meditation um, meditation and uh, manifestation video next. But we can start because you could say, I've already got what I need this month or maybe last month, however, right? But if not, you know, then here it comes. And if so, then just start grounding yourself for the next intention. We are living beings. We always have an intention. Now we just use the next one on the bucket list, right? Look at the bucket list and say, got that one, going to the next. Until next time, my friends, peace and love and blessings to you all. And let's get in there and reap those rewards. Bye-bye.